Hey guys, so today I am glad to announce that the Warmartomatic plugin is updated and it is using now the V2 API. So until now it was not working because of some Walmart API recent changes. And today I am glad to announce that it is working again. So I updated it and it is functional once again. However, I will walk you through the setup process of the plugin because the new Walmart API requires a lot of settings and it is quite hard to configure to be honest but I will walk you through in this video each step so step by step we'll go and I will show you how to set up the plugin with the new API so first of all you need to update it to v2.0 or newer if newer versions appear when you are uh, setting up the plugin afterwards you will see this config panel and you will need to get a consumer id a secret key this needs to be generated by you i will show you how to generate this secret key you will need to set a secret key phrase key phrase and your impact radius affiliate id will also be needed okay so first of all let's click here on walmart consumer id and let us start with the process so here if you don't have an account you need to create an account in walmart io i already have an account and i'm logged in here and when i go here i see this big blue button create an application i need to click it and let's add an application name so application this needs to be unique on walmart so enter something random here at the ending of the application name at least company name enter your company name or enter anything else enter a brief description and the rest can be left as it is web application 1 to 10 and click submit form oh so no numbers then enter only words here and click submit form after a short processing you will get your new application however now you will need to upload your public key and let me show you how to get your public key and private key this is the complicated part of this process until now it was easy and uh, okay to get but now let me show you for uh, to get this public key you will need two things to download you will need to download putty this is a tool which generates public keys and private keys and also open ssl so this are uh, these are the download links for them i will link them in this video description so first i will download open ssl so click on the open ssl download link and search for this if you have a 64-bit windows then download this if you have a 32-bit windows then download this part so click on msi save the msi somewhere wait until the download finishes and then launch it and install the open ssl software this is a small piece of software that will be needed for the open uh, for the key to be created for the api so click install no donation this time and in this location so program files open ssl win 64 bin or if you have a 32 uh, version of windows it is only open ssl and here you will find the open ssl executable so you will need to copy this path where the executable is located and write cmd in your console and click right click on the command prompt and click run as administrator this will launch the common prompt for you as an administrator so now write cd space and paste the path you copied this will go uh, in this common prompt will change the location of the folder to this 
location where the OpenSSL is uh, found and you will be able to write here OpenSSL. This is just a test, don't write it with me. This is just to test that OpenSSL works and this it will show for you if it is working. Now write here exit because it's okay. Now uh, let us go to this link. This is also found in this video description and this is the Walmart's tutorial on how to get the RSA public private key. So you will need to copy this command or you will find this command also in the video description so you can copy it from there directly. Okay, so copy this command and add it here in the uh, command prompt. So keep in mind that you need to enter this command in the folder where OpenSSL is located so the OpenSSL executable can be found. So hit enter here. And now you will have to enter a passphrase. So this should be a short passphrase, but not shorter than four characters. So I write P-A-S-S. -S. Once again, the same. So it is successfully generated. And in the folder of OpenSSL, we will found, find now the my RSA key pair. So this is the file that you will need in the configuration of the API. So cut or copy it and paste it somewhere where you will know of it. So I will also rename it. This is the private key. So keep the private key secret. So now we will have to download Putty. So for this go here and download Putty, install it. And uh, afterwards you will be able to run it from here, from the command line, but don't run Putty. Instead, search for putty gen this is something that gets installed together with putty and run putty gen okay now we will have to copy the path where our private key is located so copy this and hit load in putty gen go to the path where it is located select all files and load the private key that we got enter the passphrase which is pay a s s and successfully imported okay now what you have to do is copy this text so select everything that appears here be sure that you select everything so it needs to start with ssh rsa and it needs to end with open ssh key so copy everything from here and go to Walmart API uh, console from here where we left, click upload, select production here and paste the key that you got. So you have to simply paste everything that you, that you got from here in Putigen and click upload key. If everything uh, was done correctly, you will get your production consumer ID. So copy this and we will be finally be able to go to plugin settings and paste the key here. Okay, we will need a secret key also. For this, go to the private key that you got and edit it with a text editor. And copy everything that is found in it. So copy and this is your private key. So paste the private key here. Also, the passphrase that you used, in this case, it's P-A-S-S. -S. So, don't forget this passphrase because it is important. So, the private key, the passphrase, and your Impact Radius Affiliate ID. This is the final step. So, to get this, click here and go to Impact Radius. And the, on Impact Radius, you will have to be signed up for Walmart. So you will be have to be accepted as an affiliate for Walmart and click on your name and you will see your ID here or as an alternative, 
create a link for Walmart and you will see the ID here also. So this is your numeric ID, but don't forget that it is also available here. So in our case, it is 1264868. So 1264868. Okay, so now we can save info and the plugin is configured to be run from now on. So if you were a older user of Walmart Automatic, you will be able to keep all your rules and everything will function as before. If you are new to the plugin, please watch the tutorial video of it and uh, it will teach you how to set up further importing rules. I will link it also in this video description. So for an example, let's import two Lenovo laptops and uh, let's check our site here it's empty and let's run importing the green check marks appears that means that you are successfully imported products and here the lenovo products laptops appeared and if we see them there will be images description and this will be your affiliate link when it is clicked people will go to Walmart and your affiliate ID is added here and your impact radius tracking will function. So yeah. Okay, so this is how you can set up the Walmart Automatic plugin V2.0. So keep in mind, this is the only Walmart affiliate plugin on the existing right now because the changes Walmart did and they did these really brutal changes so you need an rsa private key and uh, you need to add it in the walmart io and yeah it is really hard to set up but in this video i showed you step by step how to set it up and how to make it work so yeah if anything please contact me and let me know and i will help this is the tutorial for the v2 of the walmart automatic plugin Thank you for watching. If you want to get more similar videos or updates, subscribe to this channel. It is really appreciated. Have a nice day. Bye bye.